ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to more Shadow Hearts. Uh, you'll notice that I've moved all my characters to the back row. We've got a boss fight coming up here soon. Um, and one of the things you really want to make sure you do is put them in the back row. Um, I also, off screen, purchased a bunch of Thera leaves, some mana leaves, things like that, because we don't have a healer at the moment. Um, I also went to the building up on the top left there and purchased some new equipment for Zuzin. Uh, because he was a little on the weak side at the moment compared to the rest of my teammates. So, let's actually, let me snag a save real quick. And from there, we will continue on. So we're going to go up to the north. There are enemies out here, so I might encounter some of them. We shall see. Oh, there we go. of our little frog friends. Come on, Zuzin. Hold it down. All right, let's punch him to death. Take that, frog. Easy enough. Yeah, Yuri's getting really powerful now. He can pretty much take out any of these enemies in one hit. So I think we're a little bit over-leveled, which is never a bad thing. Is that a critical strike? I'm assuming when it says strike, that means it's a crit critical strike. I'm not entirely sure, though. Saving my MP for the coming battle. Coming battles, perhaps. Get him! All right. I'd say that works out pretty well. Since we've lost our healer for the time being, we're just going to have to use their leaves to keep our health in good order. We're going to have to go back around to the dock, and here's this thingy. Let's check it out. Hmm. Just as I expected. This is the mark that's summoning all the specters. If we get rid of this, the monsters disappear, right? All right, let me at it. Ho 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 ho! I really like the design of some of the enemies in this game. I really do. Some of these boss fights are really menacing. All right, so this enemy is actually weak against wind ability. So we're gonna switch over into our tornado form here. And Margaret's basically going to be on healing duty for most of this fight. Let's see what kind of special attacks we've got. I believe wind shear is what we're after. Oh ho, nailed it. Oh, yes. That really worked. I don't know how much health this thing has, but... There's a few different attacks, and as you can see, they can pack quite a punch. Let's go in here and start healing everybody. We'll start with Zuzan. I still think it's really interesting that they have the Japanese voices in combat. I actually kind of like it. So let's go for... Spark class... Yeah, we don't want that. Let's just go for the Ogre Flame Dance. I have to say that is the most badass magic missile of all time. Let's go in here with another Wind Shear. Eat it, buddy. Kabla! This is doing some serious damage. As long as we keep everyone healed up, we should be okay. Zuzan's taking quite the brunt of the hit here. It's okay, though. Just gonna continue to heal. I'll repurpose Zuzan to healing if we need it. But for the moment, I'm just trying to wear down his health as quickly as possible. I think I have the ability to revive, so... Yeah! Another wind shear. 
Seems to be working out. He's probably not got too much more in him. 93 hits. Some serious damage. Here comes the shockwave. All right, now we really need to pack on the healing. What does that mean? Somebody tell me what that means. Translate for me. Maybe it doesn't mean anything. I don't know. Good hit. All right, we're putting you back on health duty, even though you probably have the coolest ability in the entire team. All right. Now we're back in business. Here comes the shockwave. Brace yourselves. Brace for impact. Ugh. A-okay. Oh, great. Round of MP. Hmm. Okay. He's not going to get another attack, and I don't think he has enough initiative. So we should be okay to do that. And then... Heal him up separately. Suri! Oh, crap. Are pretty low on health, so hopefully everyone survives this. Oh god. We are staggered. It's okay though, everyone is now on healing duty. <laughs> this is why I bought lots of their leaves. Lots and lots of them. Let's get you healed up, Missy. All right, everyone's doing pretty good now. Here comes the next shockwave. Ugh. Susan just cannot stop taking a beating, can he? Have to wait for the right moment to attack again. All right, so now we should be able to hit him with another wind shear. Kabla! Ooh, that was a big hit. That was bigger than the other ones. I wonder why. I wonder why it fluctuates so much. Gotta get healed again. This is a really tough boss. Hopefully this is not a mistake to attack it rather than heal. But I think we'll be okay. I think he is staggering. He is indeed staggering. We should be able to take him out soon. I'm just going to continue to attack with Yuri and hope for the best here. Oh god, flying stones hits one person. Who's it going to be? Don't hit Yuri, please. Yes! I'm okay with that. Now let's get you healed up since his area of effect attack seems to do about 50 points of damage. The wind shear. Wind shear up in here. There we go. Totally rhymed. Nice. Oh yeah, he's, he's got, he doesn't have much more in him. I can tell. It's nice that the enemy stagger like that. You know when you're getting close. A little bit of a hint. Oh, he hadn't done this yet. I heard these are painful. Oh, okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, yes it was. Spoke too soon. That was probably the biggest damage of all. Let's go for another mana leaf. Good thing I stocked up, isn't it? Otherwise, we'd have to go back to the last save point. Survive! Ooh. All right, let's get healed up again. Slow and steady wins the race. Now we can hit him again with a wind shear. Maybe this will take him out.
Go down, damn it. Why won't you die? Hit him again! What is that thing on its head? Is that part of its head or is that like a veil over his head? I don't know. Down he goes! Another menacing boss has disappeared. Sweet. Go Yuri! Did we get a level up? Hey, we all leveled up. It's a party up in here. Now we're getting close to an Earth ability. Good stuff. Goodbye, demon. No more slooping around for you. Ha! Huh, that takes care of that. But I wonder why this village was targeted by evil spirits in the first place. For generations, the villagers have worshipped the blue dragon at an undersea shrine just offshore. A month ago, lightning struck, and the dragon was sealed away. As a result, Lili became a ghost. Wait a minute, this sounds familiar. It's just like what happened to Zhao Yang, isn't it? Which means, Mr. Smarty Sage, you know who the big boss is, right? Wait, we were attacked in Feng Tian, too. Isn't that old geezer Dewei? De De God, I'm so bad with some of these names. Dewei, isn't it? Oh, you've already met him, have you? At any rate, you are correct. He plays puppet master from his town, from his tower in Shanghai. He's attempting to gain control over the entire continent. By using his Taoist magic in forbidden ways. What does Dewei want with us? He wants Alice. What? Hmm? Shocking. In any case, we've successfully broken the spell that was cast over this village. Always a good thing. Let's go back to the restaurant from before. Let's do it! We can snag a save, too. I don't think there's any more combat since we've destroyed the Shloop monster. Shloop, Shloop, Shloop. You're gonna be hearing me do that a lot in this playthrough, trust me. Our protagonist even made mention of Big Boss. So Pliskin is here. Actually, that wasn't Big Boss, that was Snake. Pliskin. <laughs> Forgot all about that name till now. Oh, Yuri! Everybody, you're back! Ah, you've recovered! Oh, and Sea Mother. I don't think Daly Dalian will be having any more ghost trouble. However, the fact that Lili herself did not appear does concern me. We are indebted to you. On behalf of everyone in this village, I thank you. I could I could never mimic the Sea Mother voice. Don't mention it. It's too raspy. But you know, I feel like some sort of karmic bond brought us all together here. We listen to what I've got to say. Aw, oh, don't go all formal on us. Just spill the beans. <laughs> well, we have the black tortoise of the north and the blue dragon of the east. There's two of the four gods of direction. Someone is trying to seal them away to further his own evil ends. Dewe? Yeah. Now, this is the most important part. The villainous Dewe. He's after you, Alice. My god. Yeah, you were saying that before too, but why is he after Alice? I don't get it. Or, hey, maybe this Dewey 
guys. Just some sick old perv with a Lolita complex. <laughs> now, now. Well, Alice, is there something you can tell us about this? I, actually, I don't know anything at all about this man named Dewe. Except, <laughs> when Bacon murdered my father in France a month ago, my God. <laughs> Bacon murdered your father. The last thing he said to me was, there are dark warlocks trying to bring about the Valor valorization? I won't let them make you their key. Valorization, what does that mean? Alice, a key? You're no ordinary demon eyes, girl. The star within you shines far brighter than that. Lily's power was nothing compared to yours. I'm not surprised they're warlocks seeking to abuse it. Your father gave his life to protect you from them, correct? Yes, and in the end, he sent me far away. He used up the very last of his strength to keep me safe. What? So you've got to keep running forever and ever? It's the dumbest thing I ever heard. We can always make for Shanghai and go after Daewei ourselves. What say you? What say you? Master Zuzan, if Daewei is preparing another valorization... Indeed, it would mean a repeat performance of the nightmare we lived through 15 years ago. The nightmare 15 years ago? The valorization? It's a ritual that, in effect, turns the entire world upside down. Dewe attempted the valorization once before. Countless people lost their lives in the catastrophic earthquakes and disasters that followed. Fifteen years ago, huh? So this valorization didn't work? Ha! Huh. You must be joking. If he'd succeeded, it would have meant the end of the world, as I recall. A certain man stood in Dewey's way, and gave his life to stop the process of the valorization. Having lost half his body in that battle, Dewey went underground, but now he's plotting his comeback. Yes, plotting secretly to carry out the valorization rite known as the Demon's Gate Invocation. Sounds menacing. Demon, Demon's Gate Invocation? So if we don't, like, stop it, this battle will go on forever, right? I like it. I say we go to Shanghai. I want... I want to go to Shanghai, too. I can't keep running like this forever. Not if confronting Daewei will help me understand why my father died. Y you're all going? Hmm. This means I'm outnumbered. <sighs> Guess I'm in this thing with you, then. But how are we gonna get to Shanghai? If we go overland, the Japanese army will catch us at a checkpoint for sure. And I've had enough flying. <laughs> you can use my boat. Who's this? My god, it's her! Evening, everybody. Hey, were you eavesdropping on us? I didn't mean to. I just happened over here. I didn't expect to get into port this late, you see. There was some big fuss going on about monsters. It was all I could do to protect my goods. Oh? And what business are you in, miss? It does seem rather late for honest traders to be out and about. <laughs> the same could be said for you, no? At any rate, I'm a courier. Of course, courier is a bit euphemistic. To put it bluntly, I'm a smuggler. Based on what I overheard, you're looking for a way into Shanghai. And that means sneaking past the Japanese army, right? No need for explanations, I guess. So, you got a boat? Yes, but it's old. 
The army thinks it's a fishing boat, and they let it right through the checkpoints. They never guess there might be contraband under the floorboards, even if it's human. Hmm, I don't know how comfortable I am with this, but what would you ask in return? You tell me. You could say I'm a little short on cash. All right, it's a deal. Excellent. I'll go ahead to the boat, make your preparations, and meet me there at first light. I don't like this, and I don't like her. Don't fret. You'll find people making a living slipping under the eye of the law anywhere you go. Is that the kind of person you think that woman is? Most likely. Besides, do you have any better ideas? Nope. Yes. You should call it a night and get some rest at the inn. See, Mother has a point. Let's get going. Charge! <laughs> 